A blessed day and welcome. This morning we will be meditating on the book of Matthew, chapter 14 and verse 20. They all ate and were satisfied, and the disciples picked up 12 baskets of broken pieces that were left over. Precious ones, we learned previously that Jesus ministered to the needs of the people in spite of his need for rest and fellowship with the apostles. This morning we learn that when the apostles suggested that Jesus send the people as it was getting late, Jesus asks them to provide for the large crowd. What was Jesus doing here? Jesus challenged the apostles to meet the people's needs. While their eyes were on what was around, Jesus' eyes were on the things of heaven. Each time we face challenges, God doesn't want us to focus on what's going on around us, rather fix our gaze on the unlimited resources of heaven. Narrated by Anne Alexander, Back in the depression days of the early 1930s, my husband pastored a small country church. We then had three little children. Many times, our weekly income was less than $10. One day we found ourselves out of bread and with only some rancid bacon grease for shortening. I used it, however, in making hot biscuit and we managed to eat some of them for lunch. Later, as we put the remaining biscuits on the supper table, our five-year-old daughter prayed very earnestly, Dear Jesus, help us to eat these biscuits or else send us some better ones. Amen. Later that evening, the doorbell rang. There, at the door stood a member of our church who had a bakery route. Before we could tell him our story, he began to unload his large bakery basket with all kinds of tempting sweet rolls, buns, biscuits, besides dark and white bread. You know, he said, rather apologetically, I was tired tonight and seven miles out there in the pouring rain seemed so far. I was tempted to wait until tomorrow evening as I usually do. Then he added, but I was strongly constrained to come tonight. When we base our solutions on what we know, we limit ourselves. When we look around, we will be discouraged, worried, anxious, and even troubled. But when we lift up our eyes and operate from our heavenly position with faith, God's will, feeding the people which seemed impossible, becomes a possibility. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, help me to fix my eyes on things above. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Shalom Maranatha.